What up, what up everyone? It's your boy Dio and this is Frankler Investment. Bionanians, welcome everybody, welcome, okay? Today I have an amazing news to share with you guys like always. I post a video every every day from Sunday to Sunday and all the videos you can find on this channel are 99.9% .9 about Bionano Genomics, okay? So before we continue, please click on the like button and if you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe, you know, help the YouTube algorithm to pick up this video so that other Bionanogenomics investors can also see it, okay? We have to grow in this community so that we can help each other, you know, with our investment in this company. So let's get to today's video. So you guys know I am that person that brings you the breaking news every day, okay? This is a breaking news. This is a breaking news that was just uh, available public few hours ago. I don't think it's up to two hours, okay? You can easily see 8th of April 2021. So Bionanogenomics has just filed another patent and I believe they have been granted. Integrated analysis devices and related fabrication methods and analysis techniques. This is something I haven't read about, okay? I have gone through most of Bionanogenomics patent files. As you guys can see, this is a lot of pages, okay? So we are not going to go through all the pages. I am just going to tell you guys what I believe is going on on this uh, about this patent. So the abstract says, provided are uh, integrated analysis devices having features of macro scale and nano scale dimensions okay this is you know this device um this device has a feature of macro scale and nano scale dimensions and devices that have re have, have reduced background signals and that's reduced quenching of flow uh, floral pores disposed within the devices so this is more or less an improvement of the sapphire in my opinion i don't think bionanogenomics is building uh, a different device okay of course they were using iris their first device was called called iris and sapphire uh, is the reason iris retired iris iris or iris you know so Sapphire is the one that retired their first device. And of course, last year, you know, around that November, December, they updated the Sapphire device. You know, they increased the throughput so that it will be able to do about 96 human genomes per week, about 5,000 human genomes per year. And since then, the stock has been going crazy, okay? And right now, Bionano Genomics is trading at 7.55 US dollars after investors, uh, I believe, got a signal of this patent. That is why I believe the stock goes up because it was, you know, down a little bit at one point. So, so we can easily see this is a filed date, okay? It's from um, today, 8th of uh, April 2021, and um, this is the family ID. I believe, you know, this patent, you know, is a continuation of some of their patents, but there is something I want to show you guys in this patent. I believe most of you guys have no idea who this person is, Kao Han. I don't think you guys have. If you know who this person is, please leave a comment below. If you don't, also leave a comment below let me know i want to see how many of you guys know who this person is Kao Han. i am really curious okay this is a very very important person for bio nanogenomics much more important than you guys can even imagine so let's go down and see what else we have there so the inventors of course Kao Han, you know san diego california and um michael david and um and so on and so forth I haven't read this document before guys i am just reading it and doing this video with you guys because you know it makes it more fun and make, makes it more to feel like uh i am streaming right now so uh we can easily see that the filing date like i told you guys this is not something new okay this is a continuation of their previous filing on this uh invention you can easily see the filing date is from 2016 okay and we can see the first date was on um, 2018 so the last time they updated this patent was in 2016 related us patent documents you can easily see it here and um the patent number of this and the patent number of this if you go down you current us class um, there is nothing here to see statement regarding federal sponsored our research and development the invention was made 
So, this is a statement regarding federally sponsored R&D, government interest. This invention was made with government support under grant number blah 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 awarded by National Institute of Health. The US government has certain rights in this invention. So, this is not a fully um, owned by an genomics invention. You know, I believe the US government, just like, you know, not, just like uh, the SpaceX, SpaceX from um, Elon Musk, for example, there, is, there are several patents that are owned by the US government, you know, or co-owned, or how should I say it? I mean, um, there are some patents that Elon Musk cannot really, you know, say he invented 100% or he's not even going to be allowed to you know put patents on some of the inventions it has to be open because you know there are some things that are owned by the government so most of all this company are just building on it so and if you go down a little bit i am trying to look for there's something i am you know the knowledge channel analysis region comprises knowledge channel of varying depth varying width and varying depth i am trying to look for okay this is the description guys okay so we can see uh, the present application is a continuation of US application, you know, number, blah, 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 from 2016. Now US patents number, this is the latest patents number, which is a continuation of US application number, this, and now US uh, patents number, this, which has a 371 date of February. I told you guys it's not something new. They are building on, on it, okay? It's like improving a patent. So technical field, the present invention relates to field of nanofluidics and to the field of solid state optical analysis device. So you can, you guys can easily see optical analysis device, you know, optical genome mapping. So this more or less uh, the uh, advancement of um, the Sapphire device. So background, if you come here, you can easily see. One of the challenges in current biomedical analysis is to fully account for the complexity of biological uh, samples that may have a great deal of heterogeneity and in which samples no two objects are exactly alike. The minority population of cells and mole or molecules in a given sample is often the most clinically relevant portion to the uh, pathophysiological state of the patent so it continues it continues i am trying to see if i can find something that is super interesting to discuss with you guys um brief description of the draw in the summary as well as the following details described before i understood which read okay not this one you know patent file is always large guys you know the last patent that bionanogenomics filed about the nano nozzle i read it from beginning till the end okay but this is a video that i don't think we have to you know go deep into most of i want to see if i can find an image you know examples and non-limiting embodiment so it's series of fluorescent images taken in the edge of so there is no image on on this on uh, this website there is device configuration okay i think there is just no image on this website you know if i go to the u.s government's main website i should be able to find the device you know all these figures for example are not appearing here so i think that is what i am going to do give me a second guys i will go to the main website and i can show you guys some of the uh images and we can end this video all right guys so i am unable to find any other um any other documents related to this patent right now but i am going to keep you guys posted okay if i find anything i will let you guys know so please if this is your first time on this channel subscribe and please click on the notification bell so that whenever i post a new video you guys will be the first person to receive the notification okay have a wonderful day guys my name is Dio. And this is Frankla Investments. Bye-bye.